So here's what I do to help myself in the times of need to bring an old dead rendering to life. This is my trick to make this edit easier. I'm breaking the whole process into small steps. For example, I consider roof as a step or walls as another step. And while I have windows and the ground, the grass and so on. And while I think to myself, what can I do to make them look better? And here are the materials I need to make this happen. So on the first step, I'm going to change the material of this street. Because the original asphalt looks flat and boring. And then I'm adding the material or the texture I want to replace with the original material. And I'm creating a clipping mask on the preferred texture. The background contains of three images. One beautiful cloudy sky and two images of trees. So I'm bringing this image for the sky. And before getting into the trees, I'm decreasing the saturation of the blue in the sky. This is the first image of the trees that I remove the sky from it. And this is the second image of the trees, with no sky in it. And now for the wooden walls and surfaces, I want more details and more roughness. And well, this texture did a great job for creating the roughness I'm looking for. Now it's time to work on this wall. At this point, this wall looks good. However, the walls got some hints of blue in it. I don't like that, I want a clean white. So I'm using a hue and saturation layer to decrease the saturation of the blues of the wall. The problem with the roof is that it's too dark, so I'm using a brightness layer to make it brighter and as you can see it also has some shades of blue and cyan in it. I want those shades gone, I want a solid pure brown. Let's take a look at it before and after. Yes, the blue color is totally gone. Now for the windows, I want more reflection with more vibrant colors. I'm using this image for the reflection. And I'm using the store to adjust the perspective. For the other window, I'm doing the same thing. And that's it. Look at this fence. The right side is wooden and the left side is some sort of bluish white concrete, I guess. First, I'm giving them a concrete texture. At first, I'm fixing the colors by setting the blending mode to saturation. Now they have the same color and the same texture. And next, I'm copying the texture and I'm setting the blending mode to soft light to soften the shadows.
And the most important step is to fix this Minecraft looking bush here. This is how I'm fixing this bush. I'm using this image. I'm adding a layer mask and then I'm using my brush to remove the extra parts. I'm using a grass brush to remove the edges perfectly. Well, I think it looks great. And for the last part, and also the best part, I'm using the amazing camera roll filter. and look how it works miracles and that's it for today if you like this video please hit subscribe to my youtube channel and give me a thumbs up please know that that i really appreciate your support have a great day